I am here on the Chef Girl Nutrition Facebook page every Tuesday with a live cooking demo that is intended to provide tangible tips, things that you can apply in your life, in your kitchen right away. So today, doing a little twist and we're focusing on kitchen equipment. Um, so usually I'm talking about a seasonal ingredient and making a dish that is based around that seasonal ingredient. Um, and we are going to be working with potatoes, which are uh, a kind of wintry, you know, end of fall wintry ingredient, um, along with all different kinds of root vegetables and, and other kinds of potatoes that we've been talking about. But today's demo is going to be focused on the food processor. So something that I'm that I often talk about um, is one of the free resources that I have to offer is what kinds of kitchen equipment tools and utensils are essential for you to have around your home kitchen to make healthy cooking easier, um, to make your life a little bit easier, to make you more efficient, more safe, more confident in the kitchen. So even though some of these, you know, bulkier pieces of equipment you can see behind me, I have my other, you know, other pieces of equipment um, that can take up room on your, you know, on your countertop. Um, but these pieces of equipment actually come in handy for a lot of different purposes. And I think that we don't use them to the fullest, you know, to the fullest uh, use that they have. And, um, you know, we use something like a food processor for its very basic, you know, purposes of being able to, you know, blend things up. But um, there are other things that we can use it for, specifically using some of the attachment pieces that a food processor comes with. So if you have a food processor, it's likely that your food processor came with different attachment pieces, and this is one of them. So you probably have like two or three different attachment pieces that came with your food processor, and if you're like a lot of people, um, they're probably still in the plastic wrap in the back of your cabinet, or you just, you know, you just set them aside somewhere. They're collecting dust because you never use them. You don't know how to use them. You don't know what they're for, um, right? It's just kind of like, what do I do with this thing? So this is what we're going to focus on in today's demo, and I'm going to show you how this shred. This is the shredder or grating disc, and it doesn't matter what whether you have a KitchenAid, Cuisinart, food processor, whatever it is, most of them will come with these different attachment pieces or you can um, usually buy them separately if they don't come with the, with the processor that you purchase. Um, this shredding and grating disc is a really awesome tool, um, not just for what we're going to do today, but it can be a really useful tool for your meal prepping, for getting different ingredients shredded and grated really quickly, um, not just for vegetables. You can use it for anything that you would shred or grate on a typical box grater. But the beauty of the food processor is that it does all of the work for you. So versus a box grater where you're putting in all this, you know, all this arm muscle um, and your arm is tired by the time you're done grating everything, the food processor just does it all for you with just the press of a button. So it can be really, really useful. So that's what we're going to talk about. Um, this is hopefully a tip that will make your life a little bit easier, show you how you can be a little bit more efficient in the kitchen. Um, and like I said, get some of your prep done a lot quicker for the week. So um, in the spirit of Hanukkah, because we are, what is it, the sixth, the sixth uh, night of Hanukkah now, um, we are going to use this shredding disc to shred our potatoes for latkes. So what I have here is about a pound of russet potatoes. So a pound is like two large russet potatoes. Um, I like to use russet potatoes for latkes. Um, they're a little bit softer. Um, you can keep the skin on. So I, I um, rinse and scrub these. And I'm just gonna keep the skin on. The skin is so thin and soft that it kind of, especially when you grate them like this, it kind of just like melts into there. And then you get the little extra added nutrient benefits of having the skin on. But of course you can peel them if you prefer. And one large yellow or white onion. Um, this is just a very, gen you know, 
typical traditional laka um, recipe that I'm making here. You can use um, shallot, you could use green onions, you could use, you know, a different variety. Also with lakas, you don't even have to just use regular potatoes. Like I said, this is a traditional laka, but you can use um, different kinds of root vegetables. This is a really great use, like we've talked about um, in prior lives with different root veggies. This is a really good use for things like um, parsnip and celeriac and turnips and rutabagas and all the different kinds of root vegetables. Also other kinds of squashes. You could do this with butternut squash. You could do this with carrots, with sweet potatoes, anything. And again, our shredding disc is going to come in handy um, because you can basically shred up anything and then turn it into a laka, right? Because it's really just the laka is essentially like a hash brown kind of, you know, a little pancake. So you can do that with any vegetable that you have shredded. So let's get into that. So all we need to do to prep these for shredding them is just, I don't even need, I'll show you, but you know how to cut a potato in half. We just want it to be, so let me show you. So the hole that we're going to, um, that the potato needs to kind of fit into is the size of the top of your food processor. So the whole potato is a little big, so I'm just gonna cut them in half. And that's all you need to do here. Just cut it in half. Okay, and then the onion too, I'm going to just cut that in half. I'm gonna cut it in half and peel it, and then I'm gonna cut it just into quarters. And we're actually, this is a trick that I recently learned um, because of course potatoes, you've probably had experience with this, just like apples, potatoes oxidize very easily, meaning that they brown once they're peeled and cut into, right? So once that flesh surface is exposed. Um, so I learned that the juice from the onion will actually help prevent that browning from happening. So if you um, shred the onion at the same time that you shred the potatoes, the onion juice inside the food pot, you know, inside the bowl will help prevent the, um, the potatoes from browning immediately. All right, I'm just cutting off the ends here and I'm just gonna cut the onion into quarters. Okay. So this is all we need here, our halves of potatoes and our quarters of onions. Okay, so unlike the typical blade that you would use for a food processor that would go inside the food processor, the shredding disc sits on top. So it has, you know, for, of course, every food process is going to be a little bit different, but generally they'll all work in this kind of way. So I have this piece that goes in the bowl and then the, um, the shredding disc just sits right on top. So it doesn't go all the way in, it just sits right on the surface there. I'll push this down a little more so you can see better. Okay. And then the grating, the grating or shredding, I keep alternating the words I'm using. It has bigger holes and smaller holes. So depending on how finely you want your item grated or shredded, you would flip it over to um, the side that, that you want it on. So whichever side is the, you know, the rougher side on the surface is, um, is what you want. So for these lakas, I want them pretty finely shredded. So I'm going to keep it on this side where I have the smaller holes to shred it. It's the exact same thing as with a box grater, right? All the different sides of the box grater have different size holes and you spin it around and choose the side that makes sense for, for what you need. Okay. And then we just put the top of the food processor on, leave the top open, right? So we have this piece and we're actually going to use this piece to push down the potato and onion through the grater into the bowl. And so it'll come into the bowl, totally shredded up. So you just wanna be careful, don't plug it in really until you have um, the potato, you know, the piece in there. And then you're just gonna hit the buttons the same way that you would to 
use the regular blade. So you just would hit the high button or low, whatever, whatever setting you want it on, and it will just go for you automatically and shred. So I'm just going to toss a potato half in there. And I'm gonna turn on high. And that's it. So it just grated. See, it just left over like a little, you kind of get like little potato skins if you leave the skins on, you get like little potato skins out of it. But it is completely shredded in there. So that was just one half of the potato and I have nice shredded potatoes. And you saw how quick and easy that was. So let's repeat. Okay, so this time I'm going to toss an onion in there. And again, going. have some scraps that kind of landed on here but otherwise we have all of the onion and potato totally grated I didn't time how long that took but it's nice and quick and the nice thing about this too because the potatoes pull this up again because the potatoes do oxidize so quickly when you're grating them by hand there's, you know, each one that's grated is sitting there for a long time as you continue to grate them. So the longer they're sitting out there, the more that they're getting browned and it just affects, you know, the quality of your lapis. So the quicker that you can get all this done, and this is super quick to get done, the less time the potatoes are just sitting around peeled and shredded and browning. So that's it for the demo on how to use the grater. I am going to go ahead and make these latkes. So the, um, the next step here is that I am going to dump all of this into, I have a colander here with a clean dish towel. And I am dumping all of that in there. And we're gonna want to squeeze out as much liquid as you possibly can. There's so much liquid from the potatoes and the onions, and the more liquid that you can get out, the crispier your latkes will be. So that's the next step. Then I'll be mixing all of that up with some salt and pepper, a little bit of flour or matzo meal, something to bind the latkes together. Um, you can use more or less um, flour or matzo meal. That's kind of what will make the difference between it being more of like a pancake, like a real potato pancake, versus more of like a hash brown. Um, so the more flour or matzo meal that's in there, the more pancakey it will be. Some salt and pepper. Um, and then we're gonna fry them up in some oil in a skillet. <laughs> 